Rubbing elbows with celebrities in her dream job. So great to meet you. Nice to meet you. An attorney, Miss USA, philanthropist, and mentor. The Chesley the world saw in public had it all. But we didn't, couldn't see the private pain she battled, depression. She fought a hard fight and she had the support that she needed. But she grew weary. Chesley's mom, April Simpkins, and her husband, David, talked with me three months after their daughter took her own life. It wasn't a rash decision. I think that's important for people to know. Mm -hmm. She had been to this place before, and honestly, in the note that she left, she talked about that. And so I take comfort in knowing that it wasn't a rash, split-second decision of high intense emotion and she just threw in a towel. Mm -hmm. The note she left me, it was long and it had a lot of information and intent in it and I know that she had made peace. How is your faith helping you? Mm. My faith is everything. Chesley's faith was strong. Mm -hmm. I am bothered when there is this desire to assume that someone who suffers from depression or anxiety is somehow not a believer or that you aren't prayed up enough. If somebody has cancer, people don't say, well, you, you aren't praying hard enough. Exactly. I'm like, it, it wasn't the devil, it was depression. We need people to be open and we need to not shame people for being open. And through it all, Chesley was out there helping others as a mental health advocate. Hey y'all, I do a lot to make sure that I maintain my mental health. May is Mental Health yes. Awareness Month. So many family, friends may be suffering from a similar situation. What is it that you would say to them who may be struggling in a similar way? I think that education piece, which is what I am now so adamant about, of understanding mm -hmm. that depression is not a monolith, doesn't always wear the face you think it. And I hear so many people saying, ask your friends if they're okay, check in on your friends. And I applaud that, I think it's necessary but it's not enough. Mm -hmm. It's too easy to say, I'm okay. It's not an open-ended question, truthfully, but start there. But I think a more important question for someone who may be suffering, who you think is suffering, is if you're not okay, do you know what to do? And start a conversation there. Well, the last question I wanna ask you, because I wanna end on this note, what do you see as Chesley's legacy? I would have to double down on advocacy and kindness. The work she did publicly and without a spotlight on her to advocate and cheer for others is so remarkably Chesley. And I know she would want that to continue on and her kindness. And so many people feel like they were her best friend because of her, her sincere, genuine kindness. And so I hope that each individual takes those two things and puts them into action in their own lives. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.